Welcome back to the Hot Diggity Dog Read to Your Dog at Home Story series. And today, Dory has decided she wants to actually not miss a word of the next chapter. Are you listening, Dory? You think the kids at home should listen? Okay. Dory thinks you should listen. So here we go. Humboldt awoke with a soft, green, leafy feeling. Today, Humboldt, formerly of Albert Street Bridge, would introduce himself to the Queen of the British Empire. Mrs. Gimmage and Humboldt were soon en route. Where to, the cabbie asked, looking in the rearview mirror at the furry mass in the, back, in the back seat. The palace, Humboldt said. Which palace? Buckingham, of course. It's the Queen. She's expecting me. The driver jolted upright. Right then, Guff, I'll head straight there. At Buckingham Palace, the driver deposited them by the front gates. Humboldt strode past the entrance to inspect the line of guards standing still as ice in red uniforms and heavy black headgear. He worried what kind of fur the hats were made of. Was it from a local troll family he knew? He jumped up to grab at a hat to give it a sniff. A large white gloved hand hoisted Humboldt up by the back of his neck. What is this here for a little creature? A deep barrel of a voice boomed. Humboldt kicked his legs, struggling to free himself. He wanted to scream, but felt this wasn't quite the right occasion for such extreme measures. Mrs. Gimmich marched up to the guard. Mind who you have in your clutches. That's my very own Humboldt. We're here on legitimate business to see Her Majesty. The guard deposited Humboldt on the ground. Humboldt straightened his nightcap, which had slopped to the side. Then he ducked between the guard's legs and dashed under the gate, headlong toward the front entrance. The guard blew his whistle. An alarm blared throughout the castle. One of the queen's corries ran to a second-story window to see what the commotion was below. Come and see, mate. Looks like one of us, like same size, like furry, four paws. The other corgis crowded round to see the new arrival. And it's got no tail. Better have a closer look. Alarmed, all six corgis ran down the stairs, two abreast, and out the front door, just as Humble was squeezing himself through a rose bush. A tumble of corgis trotted over toward Humble, knocking him sideways. And Humboldt swam in a soup of creamy bellies, short legs, and dog tails. At last, he scrambled to his feet. Lancelot, the master corgi, sniffed him. Come on, lads, give him a breather. It's not croquet. And here we have our friend Humboldt being assailed by all the corgis on the Queen's royal grounds. Do you think he's going to survive? I'll have to find out. This illustration is by my illustrator, Tinica Visser, who grew up in Holland and lives at Muddy Duck Farm. So here we have what's going to happen next to Humboldt being in the middle of a group of corgis. Lancelot licked Humboldt on the top of his head and looked him up and down. Blimey, did you drop your tail somewhere? Not the sort of thing you can get spare parts for. Are you related then? From over the Welsh hills, are you? A distant relative? Oh, I, I'm a troll, actually, sputtered Humboldt, formerly of Albert Street Bridge. Currently, he felt a hand on his shoulder. He looked up to see a wide-brimmed violet hat under which stood the Queen of England in a cardigan and tweed skirt. My, my, how extraordinary. Why, well, you must be our guest. We've been expecting you. Don't give any notice to those corgis. Lancelot, escort our guests to the Delphinian room and we'll have our meeting. Lancelot nudged him forward with his wet nose. Humboldt stared up at the gold inlaid ceilings and then stepped bravely into the Delphinian room where the queen perched on a red velvet chair. Her footman, announced to the crowd of guests and royal reporters, let the meeting commence between the troll and her majesty, the queen of the British Empire, the great oak 
doors clang shut. And the report of the interview between the Queen and Humboldt was written up in the Times of London. The first time the Queen or any royal family member had actually met a genuine troll. And now we'll close this chapter and I'll see you soon.